asked me to get this meeting together, get this meeting together, and I tried to move as quickly as I can once people start telling me, you know, to move. And uh, the thing is, a lot um, the outside world, they uh, uh, they think I'm a, a chief already or something like that when they talk to me, and I told them, no, no, I'm not, I'm nothing like that. I'm just a spokesperson. I just only speak for the people. What they tell me is what I bring out. And then I usually wait until there's enough like information for me to move on. That's what I do. So, and I usually just write it on paper. Not Indian Affairs, uh, the complaints and allegations person from Indian Affairs. And he said that, um, he asked me how many meetings exactly did we ever have, like general meetings. I said, well, as a, a Saugeen, as a whole thing. And I told him we've never been invited to any general meetings or anything like that. So that's uh, a little bit I could tell. I don't try not to say too much to them. Um, so they wanted to find out how much meetings we've been invited to and that we didn't agree to this. And they have no right to write our life or what they want to see to how we should live our lives. That's not right. That's not right, man. It's colonization. Yeah. That's colonization. And yeah, so they've been doing it. At <coughs> um, so anyways, this is what the one part I totally disagreed on. It says uh, here, council will not work with those who are mean-spirited, violent, threatening, or disrespectful. Council will only seek guidance from members both on and off reserve who treat each other with respect, recognize the authority of the hereditary chief and headman, and who are committed to working together to improve the lives and well-being of the people of the Ojibwe Nation of Saugeen Indian tribe. So this one phrase is what I, I spoke up against because I, we're not mean-spirited. Sure, we're going to talk mean because we're not being heard, but it's mean in both parties, you know? So, yeah, so everybody is kind of aware of this now. And so this is kind of where we're at. Our implied in disagreement will be interpreted to abrogate or derogate from. So in B, page two, it says, uh, Michigan First Nation and the Ojibwe Nation Saugeen Indian tribe represent and warrant that each respective council have consulted with their communities and that this agreement has been approved and acknowledged that W power may rely on the foregoing in entertaining in, in, in entering into this agreement. So I don't know, I have never been consulted by the chief or council or anybody over this thing. And if we as Saugeen people agreed, uh, um, like I'm waiting for the other ones who all agreed, but again, we're surprised with this because our council never came to us with any kind of uh, presentation about the W power and all that. So obviously this is not right. This has to be corrected as well. And, and they own the band too. And I heard some of these are just kids and they own the band. Okay, so that's got to be resolved too with the chief and council. They got to explain this. Like, what are you guys doing? Like, you guys own the band and you're on the reserve and you guys are entitled to everything. And then we're still on the band list, but we're off reserve. So, you know, th that, I don't know. I don't know about that part. I don't like that part. Because nobody owns a band. Trademark or, you know, those, you know, those things. Yeah, yeah. So it belongs to everybody. So they had no right to say, oh, me and Nisha didn't ask for this to use it, but we're band members. Yeah. So anyway, that's the reason why they shut down that last meeting was because we pulled this up. But we were just trying to get the people together and be proud, all oh, right, and get a lawyer and then whatever we want to do. It's up to us, but it's there for you guys if you agree with it or not. But uh, they're willing to help us in... Uh, like you know fundraising for money and then because i know it costs about what ten thousand to get an application to court and about another ten thousand for the motion to get into court so automatically we're looking at twenty thousand and besides the retainer as well which is what like fifteen hundred maybe maybe two thousand so we're looking at least we need at least twenty five thousand you know to get a lawyer and move forward with these issues that's if only if we want yeah that's if we want, but it's totally up to you guys. 
What do you guys want to do? 